Hey everybody, it's Samantha Nicole Mochi here, and today I'm going to be reviewing these zombie bands. Um, I picked these up at Shopco for the expensive price of $7.99. Um, yeah, so. Um, it comes with uh, 1,200 latex-free rubber bands. 36 connectors and one wand. I think that's maybe a hook. I don't know. Um, and I will be reviewing these and comparing these with some of the uh, Rainbow Loom bands. Um, because this color back here, this blue one, um, I actually have a Rainbow Loom color that looks a lot like that. I have no clue what blue has to do with the zombies. But yeah, um, <clears throat> just has green, pink, blue, and black. And they are dual layer bands, except I don't think the black is. Um, yeah. And then it just says zombie bands on the back. It's by Grin Studios. Um, yeah, so let's get this open. Make sure you guys can see I'm filming at a weird angle here because, yeah. Um, okay. So there's the bands. Um, so, um, this is interesting. So it comes with this package of connectors, which is just S-clips, really. And then it comes to this package. There's four in here. I guess that's what you get for, like, the fake rain balloon stuff. <laughs> so it's, it's not fake rain balloon, but it's just, like, it's not rain balloon brand. Um, yeah, also, it's, uh, not for children under three years old. Uh, yeah. Also, did I forget to mention I got this at Shopco? I think I did mention that, but I'm not sure. Okay, I had to change the camera angle because I couldn't I couldn't see what I was doing. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, let's start with I'm just gonna show the bands to you. There's the connectors. Okay, so yeah, I was like that does not look like 36 connectors, but there's some in this bag, and there's the wand. It looks very cheaply made because I'm sure it is cheaply made. And it was actually quite expensive because if you do the math, in one pack of Rainbow Loom bands, which are like normally around $3, you get $600, so it ends up being about $3 for 1,200 bands. But, um, yeah, and since like my Michaels constantly has Rainbow Loom bands on sale for a dollar. I could get all of this for two dollars, basically, which is, yeah, I, you know, they did a really good job marketing this because I only got it because they're zombie themed bands. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then not even gonna, the, can't really compare those to C-Clips. Um, so let's start with these ones, and then I have... Here are some Rainbow Loom ones of this kind of color. I forgot what they're called. I think they're like hot pink and ocean or something is what Rainbow Loom calls them. So I'm going to open this up. And then take out a band. See, sniff test. <laughs> um, they smell like, they definitely smell like rubber bands. Um, yeah, they're not too strong of a smell. Um, this is what this looks like. See, will this focus? Yeah, sort of focusing. Um, so it's like this blue with pink around it. Uh, supposed to be a dual layer band. It's very bad quality. As you can see, like, when this, that just... It's not good. <laughs> um... Yeah, see, here's a Rainbow Loom band. You can tell it's Rainbow Loom because the, all of the inner colors are on the inside, this one. 
the inner color is on both sides, it looks like. Well, there's like the purple could be the outer color. And it kind of gets lost in the blue. They didn't do a very good job on these ones, I have to say. Um, yeah, you can just you can just tell the rainbow loom from the zombie bands. And still, what does blue and pink have to do with zombies? I I just I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what that looks like. Um, in the packaging, they look good because you can't really see them very well in the packaging. Let's open up black next because I have a black Rainbow Loom band that I can compare. Okay, yep, same cheap quality. Focus on the band! Jeez, I think it's focusing now. But, um, yeah, you can see there's that V in there. It's just overall terrible quality. Um, yeah, you can't really even tell in the packaging, like when it's in the packaging. Oh my gosh, this will not focus, but I guess. Expecting, expecting a camera to focus on a rubber band is kind of difficult. Here's a Rainbow Loom one. And the thing with Rainbow Loom is all of their bands are, like, smooth, kind of. Where this one has, like, this V in it. Um, pretty stretchy. I'm not, I'm not even trying with the rainbow one, honestly. Um, I will do a stretch comparison if you were wondering also. Um, let's open up this one next. And I'm guessing this is supposed to be like flesh, kind of. Here's some connectors. Let's smell these two. Yeah, they smell like um, a lot of the other off-brand bands. So the ones that, like, every single rubber band except for Rainbow Loom smells like that. Here is, oops, bumped the camera. Here is the hook. Hmm, pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not as sturdy as the Rainbow Loom hooks and stuff. But... It's pretty sturdy for being a cheaply made piece of plastic. <laughs> um, here's what their bands look like in here. It's pink on the inside with like brown. It looks like it was supposed to be black, but it kind of turned translucent. Yeah, it's just... It's, I kind of like these bands because I like the inner color. It's more orangey in real life than it is on camera, though. Put those back in there. Yeah, I definitely, honestly, I can't recommend these because they were $8. You know, you could buy Rainbow Loom high-quality ones for, like, get the same amount of bands for, um, uh, 2 to $6, so, you know, if they're on sale for a dollar a piece. Or if they're on sale, you know, then like normal price, $6, and you get all of them. And they're high-quality bands for the Rainbow Loom brand. Um, this is kind of a greenish-yellowish on the inside. And then a, like, if I move that out of the frame a little bit. Um, it's kind of a greenish-yellowish with dark green on the outside. It reminds me of those sponges. <laughs> Does it remind any of you guys about those like sponges that are yellow with the green scrubby top? Yeah, so now I'm going to be comparing some of the rubber band. Okay, so I have my Rainbow Loom band and my Zombie band. Rainbow Loom band goes about... These are dual layers, so they don't go as much as as far as the single layer. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's try with this one. Okay, so that one stretches farther. Okay, so the zombie bands for this particular color does stretch farther by two pegs, it looks like. Here, maybe. Yeah, see... One of the things is with dual layer bands, they are dual layer, so they are a thicker band. You don't really want them to be this stretchy because 
that just means they're really bad quality. Um, you know, like, where it's so easy because when it's harder to do, you know. Yeah, these ones are, and then let's take them off. So the rainbow loom goes one, two, three, eight, one, two. Um, yeah, they stretch, zombie band stretches a little more than the rainbow loom, and you know, that's not always a good thing, because, like, it's just, it's not always a good thing, you know? So, you can obviously tell which one is the rainbow loom and which is the fake one. Fake one definitely bounced back a little more, but it is because it's cheaply made, like, yeah. Because the cheaply made ones stretch farther and like, it's good to have stretchy bands, but you don't want them to stretch like, too ginormous, kind of, you know what I mean? So here's the zombie band. And that's to where I can stretch it. And then I'll use the hook in a little bit. Yep, so once again, this the zombie band stretches more. Um, yeah, and there's I don't think there's any designs that you have to stretch your bands this much. So, yeah. Overall, Rainbow Loom is way better quality, even though zombie band stretches, like, up more and shrinks back down to its original size. Jeez, that's crazy looking at the Rainbow Loom one and seeing it shrink down a little bit. It's freaky, honestly. Um, yeah. Uh, Rainbow Loom's definitely better quality. Don't buy the zombie bands. I don't recommend them. I mean, you can if you want because they have cool colors. But don't expect too much from them, I guess. Um, yeah. Because I bought these, you know, they were $8.00. And I was just kind of like, yeah, I just, like, I don't know. I mean, they were $8, they were expensive, and they have terrible quality. So stick to Rainbow Loom. Rainbow Loom has colors that are a lot like this. I mean, like, this, I think it's like hot pink and ocean or something. They have, in Rainbow Loom band, brand, Rainbow Loom has black. Rainbow Loom has, this kind of reminds me of a medieval band, the ones that are silver on the outside, green on the inside. And then this, um, I don't think they really have a match for yet, but Rainbow Loom still could come out with a match that would match this. Um, yeah, I mean, they're cool colors, they're just terrible quality. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.